Hello and welcome to 1995Batman.com. Today we are looking at this, the DC Multiverse Signature Collection Batman Forever figure from Mattel. Uh, this came out in, uh, I think, either late 2017 or early 2018. Um, just sort of out of nowhere. Um, I mean, no one's really making figures for Batman Forever anymore. Uh, so this was a nice kind of surprise. It was done in conjunction with, I'll just show you the back of the box, it's done in conjunction with uh, a John Wesley ship flash from the uh, 90s TV show. So I guess they were, you know, kind of capitalizing on the kind of, uh, obviously he's back in the uh, CW flash show. Um, yeah, this is very cool that they're making something. Um, although Mattel have now lost the license. Um, it's very cool that they're making something for Batman Forever. Um, but it does have its issues, which we will get into. So I'll just swing around the packaging. Um, obviously, there's this kind of like promo thing. One thing I've never noticed about this, I'll kind of zoom in. If you look at his eye on the left, it's kind of droopy. I think it's like a Photoshop image. I think that's his chin. But the way they've kind of done the eyes, they've kind of got rid of the uh, bit around the eyes. Anyway, it's by the by. His, his eye just looks really droopy there. Um, it's also the wrong colour as well. Val Kilmer has blue eyes and they're uh, kind of like a, a kind of like grey brown here. But anyway, they're blue in the actual thing. So that's cool. Uh, there's the side. There's the back. Again, you've got the text here. Val Kilmer portrays billionaire Bruce Wayne and the iconic hero Batman. He must embrace a new partnership while fighting two menacing villains obsessed with finding out the identity behind the mask. Um, so that's very cool. Um, it's a little uh, Batman logo there. Uh, right, so let's open it up and take a quick look. So the side comes off here, slips out in case you want to keep it in your box. It's quite nice. I don't keep anything in a box really, but it's nice to have it. And here is the contents. So you have your Batman figure. Oh. Oh. And the cape is tucked oh, back into the box is helpful. Put that to one side. Um, then you've also got the uh, grapple gun there. And you've also got a couple of spare hands. You've also got underneath a, um, a plinth to put it on with Batman TM. you also got this. I hate these kind of things but uh, it's nice that they come with them anyway. Um, so that you can have your Batman figure kind of leaping in the air. Uh, there's also this which I'll take out in a sec which is just kind of like a, a square kind of cardboard, maybe even, yeah, quite thick cardboard back drop, so you can put that, slot that in there, so you can have that behind there, and then there's a few kind of various little pegs and things just to keep them in place. So here we have our figure, and as you can see, uh, the main issue, and I think a lot, the main issue that a lot of people have with this, is the cape is horrendous. So I'm just going to move his arms here, and yeah, it's just made of just a really kind of very curling um, piece of, uh, I don't know even what it is really. It's kind of cloth on the inside, kind of leathery on the outside, which I appreciate is kind of similar to what the uh, what the costume looked like. But even here where it's been in the box for like a little bit too long, it's just gone all kind of, yeah, not good. I know a lot of people are making custom capes for this now, so I might pick up a custom cape at some point. Um, but we'll get into the actual um, uh, figure itself. Um, so I'll put this here just as a bit of a, uh, a compare and contrast. So obviously, first thing to note is there are no nipples, or there's a very, very, very faint hint of a nipple uh, there. Um, the bat symbol, I don't feel is quite right. It's too kind of circular. Should have been more squished. Um, and the head, I'm not a huge fan of. I mean, obviously they've done it so that there's a little bit of articulation, so you can make him turn his head like this and that. Um, but it, it makes it look like the Christian Bale cowl that he had in uh, Dark Knight, rather than this one. Um, I mean, I'm all for articulation and stuff, but um, I feel they maybe should have just, I don't know, done something different to make it look more straight like that was. Um, and then the actual costume itself, um, it's not a bad representation, the belt particularly, in the kind of low slung belt, uh, looks right. Um, what they've done is they've made the the, um, the gloves and the boots kind of like a shiny black, 
and then the actual bodysuit itself is a slightly kind of like very 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 dark grey. Uh, it has a ton of articulation, I'm not even going to count how many points. Uh, toes go up and down, feet go up and down, knees go up and down, uh, thighs twist, which is fine but it just makes your figure look kind of like broken. Again, I'm all for articulation but this just looks not right. Um, um, it's got an ab crunch, I hate ab crunches, sorry I'm just an old school classicalist. Um, arms go kind of all the way out and up and down and twist. Um, and as I showed before, you get uh, a, a, a kind of fist clenched hand and you get a fist open, uh, which allows you to put in his grapple gun, which is a, a pretty good representation, I think, of the grapple gun that he had in the movie. Stick that in there. Looks a bit weird, maybe it was that way. Yeah, I think it was that way, wasn't it? Doesn't... yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, so again it's got these pegs on the bottom that you can move into six different positions. So you can have him sort of doing the splits and you know launching forward and everything, which is great. And then this back panel here pops out and you can stick this in in case you want your figure kind of launching through the air. So he sort of like suspends like quite far out from the uh, thing, although it does make his cape look a little bit better because it's just kind of like floating in the background. Um, yeah, which is kind of weird. Uh, once, once you put that in, you can't then get this in it kind of because the way it bends, it kind of sticks it out further back. So I think I prefer it just. Oh, I think I prefer it just standing on the pegs. I think it looks better there. Um, so yeah, as I said, it's very cool that they're making this figure in 2018. Although Mattel have lost the license now, it's gone to McFarlane. Uh, we're coming up on the 25th anniversary. I'm really hoping McFarlane are going to do something for this. I hope they're going to do something better. Again, just looking at the face, you know, a lot of the, um, possibly because they're not working on kind of decent facial scans, but it's not even really a great Valky on the face. It doesn't quite look like him, and there's obviously no decent, it's just a flat kind of um, flesh colour on his um, uh, mouth. So yeah, it's a little bit of a disappointing figure. Uh, I still like it. it. As I say, I'm probably going to get a custom cape um, off eBay. Everyone seems to be selling them, and everyone who's bought this seems to have the same complaint. Um, so yeah, that is the Mattel Multiverse Batman Forever figure. Um, it's going pretty cheap on on eBay and Amazon now, the price has dropped quite a lot now we're in 2019, so um, I would say if you can get it for under 20 quid then it's worth it, I think I paid about 20 quid on eBay for mine this cape um, but anything more I wouldn't bother uh, I'd maybe hold off and see what McFarlane bring out this year or next year because uh, I think they'll do something similar and it will be much much better yeah, so actually if you're gonna, in order for the ab crunch not to look weird, I think, kind of that, this kind of pose, it's kind of the best one that he works in, kind of lunging out with his grappling hook, I think that's probably the best possible pose. And just as a bit of a comparison, I'll just put up the, uh, the Kenya, Kenna, Guardians of uh, Gotham Batman from 1995, just as a kind of like, now. And then, comparison, um, I still like the Kenner one, but um, this one's actually, yeah, it's it's growing on me. I think once the cape uh, has been changed, uh, I think that will iron out all the problems I have with it.